If someone doubts you, just do it, okay? Just do whatever they doubt you for and prove to yourself, not even to them, just prove to yourself that you can do it. And prove to yourself that those doubts mean no s***, okay? Those people don't know nothing. And so you just gotta do it. You just gotta put in the work and you just gotta make it in life. And those people, they're gonna look at you and they're gonna be like, oh geez, we're so wrong. Hey everyone, my name is Sherry and today I'm going to talk about a story time video and it's about the YouTuber who left me on the scene. And if you're watching this video, you honestly know who you are and I honestly, like there's only one YouTuber who did that to me. And so I just, yeah, it's pretty clear if you're watching this video, like it's you. If you think it's you, it's probably you. But anyway, um, this one YouTuber left me on scene and why am I so pissed off is because I actually met this YouTuber in person and uh, we actually talked for quite some time in person. and. And I can tell that she's not completely, like, friendly. Like, you can tell she's trying to fake to be friendly. Like, especially because I think someone else was in that scenario, too. And she was, like, very obviously passive-aggressive to that person. And she's, like, not enjoying her time. I can tell for sure. But at the same time, like, I didn't feel she has anything against me. We had a great conversation. And she's like, oh, totally, like, hit me up in my DM and stuff like that. And so I did. I hit her up in her DM at her first she gave me like this heart thingy like you know how you tap the heart and it gives you a heart so it's like super quick and I'm like okay you've seen it so the second time I asked her a question and so honestly how much time does it take to say no like I understand if you're super busy and you don't want to deal with like some event and stuff like that you don't want to answer some questions or anything it's not like a long answer it's like a yes or no answer and honestly how long does it take to say no no time like if, if you don't want to do it say no but like why do you want to leave me on scene and it's not just once I asked that question two times because at first I thought oh maybe she like accidentally clicked onto the message and maybe like I was making up excuses for her because she felt like a nice person on camera she felt like a nice person in the videos she felt pretty genuine on camera so I was like Hmm, maybe it's really not like that. Maybe she's actually nice, but she accidentally clicked onto the message and just like forgot to respond or something like that. So then I think around a week later, I send that same message again in like different words, of course, but like the message is the same. And basically, I was just asking like, do you, do you want to uh, work on this project with me? And honestly, if you don't want to, you can just say no. You don't have to leave me on scene. And I just find that so incredibly rude. First of all, it's not that I don't know you at all, I actually know you, I spoke to you in real life and I'm like an actual living person and I also make YouTube videos and just because you have more subscribers than me doesn't mean sh okay? Like just because you have more subscribers than me doesn't mean you're superhuman, doesn't mean you're like just totally like you, you can just ignore the world. And second of all, if you're just not into like answering questions and collabs and working together on a project and all that, then why ask me to DM you? Like, why is that even a thing? Why do you want to pretend to be nice if you're just not? If you're not into, like, interacting with people, why do you ask people to DM you? And why do you leave them on scene? Like, really, like, it is just so raw on all levels, and I'm just so frustrated and annoyed. And honestly, like, if one day I become, like, super big or anything, I will try my very, very best to avoid things like that, especially when, like, I meet someone in real life initially, and then that person reaches out to me later. Like, that's already... That surpassed like 99.999% of like so-called subscribers because most of the subscribers you don't meet and they're just like, you know, um, this internet name and you don't know that person in real life and it's just not as close. But I feel like once you meet someone in real life, it is a lot closer and you should really treasure those connections even more. And so... Yeah, I, I found it to be super, super rude and offensive, and honestly, I don't want to expose who it is, but I think, I, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but she's in LA. <laughs> I know a lot of YouTubers are in LA, but she's in LA. I just want to say people like that make me realize how much, how much I want to really, like, so-called make it, how much I want to be successful, because I, I don't want to be mistreated constantly. Some people just judge you by how many subscriber counts you have, how many views you have, how much money you have, and if you don't reach like a certain amount, they just judge you, they just look down upon you, and they just mistreat you, and I hate, I hate that. In a separate story, I'm going to talk about how I was mistreated in high school, and that's like a whole other ordeal, but honestly, like, my, one of my biggest motivations so far, other than the fact that I'm just like naturally, um, 
I guess, in, not intrinsically, but I'm just naturally really driven into bettering myself. That's like my natural instinct. But other than that, another major factor is that I don't want to be mistreated. I don't want people to look down upon me constantly. I don't want people to think that. I cannot because I know that I can and so therefore I will and so yeah this whole like rant slash story time video is just to give you more courage and motivation that if someone doubts you just do it okay just do whatever they doubt you for and prove to yourself not even to them just prove to yourself that you can do it and prove to yourself that those doubts mean no sh okay those people don't know nothing and so you just gotta do it you just gotta put in the work and you just gotta make it in life and those people they're gonna look at you and they're gonna be like oh geez we're so wrong and that's what you want you want them to realize that they're wrong you don't want to prove them right they're wrong about you not succeeding you know you're gonna succeed you know you're gonna make it in life you know you're gonna be such a great person and that's all that matters so I'm losing my voice sort of but I just want to say that you are a great great human being you know you can can achieve so many great things in life don't let anyone tell you elsewise okay don't let anyone tell you anything else because you are awesome and i just want you to know that and so thanks for watching thanks for watching my rant and i hope you enjoyed um i hope you have a wonderful day or night and see you guys next time bye